His name is Anthony Yoder, and a more energetic and knowledgeable RV lover would be hard to come by. Over the past year, Anthony's been a guest on many of our programs, sharing his knowledge of RVs and of the RV industry. Last time he gave us a partial tour of a fifth wheel that's new for 2021. That is, wait for it, able to be towed by most half-ton pickups. Today, Anthony gives us a look inside what's called the 2442 BS Ultralight by Rockwood. So now that we're on the inside of the 2442 BS, we're gonna start here in your living area, make our way through the rest of the trailer. Um, one of the things I wanna point out is this is a, a small fifth wheel. It's under 29 feet, but it's got a lot of big features. So we're seeing here on this off door slide, you've got your theater seating set up here. What's really nice about this 67 inch theater seating is you see it here and I call in three person mode so you can sit three people across, but it does have this center console that folds down revealing your cup holders and your power, your outlet with your USBs. You also do have storage in both of your arms, lumbar support for both seats, and they are full recline. I call them nap friendly. Um, after this video is done, I am gonna take a nap of my own. Again, small trailer, big features. We've got a big pantry here in your kitchen area. And just like all our other pantries, we're giving you that lip for storage, so you can put your canned goods, your, your boxes, whatever you do in there, and not have to worry about those falling over while in transit. Make your way further into the kitchen. We're showing you the eight cubic gas electric refrigerator on this one. You do have the option for a 12 volt refrigerator. That's a slightly larger fridge at 11 cubic feet. Into your kitchen here, You've got all flush mounted areas here, giving you extra utilization of your countertop space, both over the sink and over the stove top here. Stainless steel, double bowl sink. Great feature here in the corner. Where am I gonna plug in the toaster, the coffee pot, whatever it may be. We're providing a pop-up outlet there in the corner, two 110s and two USBs. Flush mounted stove top here, 22 inch oven, actually giving you space that you can work with. Not a 17 model, 22 inch, you can get your bread, your, your baked goods, whatever it is, uh, chicken in there, actual space to utilize that oven. No shortage of countertop space in this model. Again, small trailer, big features. We hit that big pantry, now we're talking about how much countertop space you have. And what's really nice is not only is this extra countertop space flex space, you've got your spot now for dining. So if you do, you can bring a little TV tray or whatever along with you for your theater seats, but you can also have your dining spot right here, more of your, what I'd call bar stool seating area, um, that higher seating. Theater seats right across from your TV. It's not a small TV, it's a big TV. Big feature, small trailer, right? Big TV, AM, FM, CD, DVD, and dual zone speakers right here. So capping off your living, entertainment, and kitchen, all in this same spot, but you're not losing or compromising any of those three spaces because it's a small trailer. You still get all three of those spaces in this layout. Behind me here, you've got your hutch for even more storage. So not only did we already have that pantry, plenty of doors and drawers in your kitchen area, you've got even more storage here. And we're showing off your residential hidden hinges. Not only do they look better, but they're a more durable hinge than what you'd find with an exposed hinge. Also showing everywhere you've got your, your solid surface countertops, uh, pots, pans, whatever it is. It's gonna be a lot more durable than a, a different counter type of material. Now we'll make our way up the stairs into your bedroom and the bathroom, talk about some features in there. As we head there, we've talked about safety and security on the outside with that grab handle there. Also giving you a grab handle as you make your way upstairs here. We make our way right past the control panel. Functions just like the, the control panels that we all know your switches, everything's really easy to see and read, but we now give you our WeRV app, 
and that's with Lippert. And what that allows you to do is control your phone or control your panel right from your phone. So if you need to run a slide out and you're concerned about maybe a tree on the other side, you can actually walk outside, run that slide out with your phone and stand right there and watch that slide as you go. All models are going to be solar prepped. What we're doing, giving you the entry plate on top, running the necessary wiring, telling you where to install your controller so that if you do want to utilize solar, we're making it really easy for you. All of your interior doors, I love pointing this out, they're not knobs, they're your love lever style handle. So what that means is you've got a bunch of things in your hands, um, walking into the bathroom or in your bedroom, you don't need to use your hand to twist, you can simply use an arm and elbow and do that lever without having to put anything down. So working into the bathroom here, again I said it before, I'm going to say it again, small trailer, big features. We've got the big residential shower. Plenty of space in here, got the seat in here, ladies need to shave your legs, whatever you need to do, plenty of space in here. You can turn around, you can swing around, plenty of height here with your skylight. Also, still doing your shower miser. What that's going to allow you to do is if you're off-grid camping, you can conserve your water. Indicator turns white, that means your water is now warm. Flip your lever, now you've got that instant warm water and you're not wasting water waiting for that to warm up. Plenty of countertop space in here, stainless steel sink, you've got your medicine cabinet with your mirror, check yourself out in the morning, got your vanity light, makes you look good too, standard max air fan, and to top it all off you're going to have your Dometic porcelain bowl toilet, easier to maintain and more sturdy than those plastic models. Make our way in the bedroom and we'll cap off this tour of this model. So I think you all know what I'm going to say. It's a small trailer with big features. In the bedroom here, you've got a full queen, residential queen bed slide. That's a standard. You can option in a king bed here, but you can see with this queen bed, you've got full walk around space. Makes it feel like the bedroom of a much bigger fifth wheel model, but again, under 29 feet. You've got outlets on each side. You've got nightstands on each side. And then up front, You've got tons of storage space. Whether you want to put your clothes in here, extra odds and ends, whatever it may be, tons of space here. You've got doors, you've got drawers, you've got your full wardrobe here with hanging space. You've got another little dresser area here for even more storage and underneath the bed, even more storage there. Not to mention your mattress, it is a cool gel foam, memory foam mattress. You won't feel the need to throw your mattress away right when you get it because it's uncomfortable. You'll want to keep this because it's a more comfortable mattress than what you'll see out there. Alright, now while you can uh, technically tow this fifth wheel with a half ton, um, I think that once you load that bugger up with all your gear, it's probably going to be too heavy for a half ton. But the reason I want to point this out is that you uh, you can still get quality that absolute, absolutely does not weigh you down. And I know a lot of people are able to tow this fifth wheel with their half ton. So we'll have the entire video posted very soon as a, as a premiere on our YouTube channel. Next week, uh, we're going to check out a 25-foot-long bumper pull. Uh, called the Flagstaff, what is it, the 25FKBS, I believe it is. It's the first micro light that's ever been built uh, by Flagstaff with a bed slide. I want to thank again the uh, folks at Rockwood and Flagstaff for their support. The RV Show USA is brought to you by Rockwood, building better RVs, making smarter RVers.